Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. The Fill Tools in Anime Studio allow us to change the objects on screen in a variety of ways. First up, the Select Shape tool allows us to select shapes that are on the screen. And this is useful if you want to look at its parameters or change its parameters. So let's click on the face and come over here to the style palette. Notice how we can see the fill, stroke, and then width properties of this object. To demonstrate this, now let's click on the table. You can see now we have a brown fill, a black stroke, and a line width of 0.67. So if you wanted to, what you could do is click on the fill swatch and adjust the color. And you can see the color is adjusting on the table as we do this. The same applies for the stroke. And we can do the line width as well. So with an object selected, you can easily adjust its style properties. Now you can also click on an object, let's say the table once again. And once you click on it, you can come over here to the copy button, find another object, click it, and then come over here and choose paste. You're just pasting the style of the object over to another, in this case the fill and stroke properties. So you can easily adjust properties with the select shape tool. The create shape tool allows us to apply fill and stroke properties to selected points. So as an example, we could highlight these points right here with the Create Shape tool, come up here to Create Shape, and now you have a stroke applied to those points. You can also use the space bar to apply the properties. Now if we select the entire shape, which is enclosed, and hit Create Shape, you can see now that a fill has been applied, the same fill and stroke that are on the style palette. Now, if we want to punch a hole in an object, make sure you have an outline only, draw out a shape that's also an outline, take your Create Shape tool, highlight the entire object, you'll notice it's all red except for that hole, and then when you hit Create Shape, you'll now see that the hole has been applied. The Paint Bucket tool allows us to apply fill and stroke properties to an enclosed object. So now, with Fill selected on the top, we can just click on this enclosed object and it will apply the Fill properties only. If we undo that, click Stroke and click the object, we can see now a gray outline appears. Finally, if we use both, you'll be able to apply both properties to the enclosed object. The Delete Shape tool allows us to easily remove style properties from a series of points. So with the eyebrow, we could click on the Delete Shape tool and remove those properties. Now the outline still remains, so you can come in now and apply new properties with another tool if you wish. The Line Width tool allows us to adjust the width of a line based on a point. So you could take that tool, come over here to a point, hold down the mouse button and drag to the right to increase the line width. You can do that on any point you wish and going to the left will decrease the line. You can also adjust the percentage at the top. As you can see 1000 really makes the line thick. Now you could take the select points tool, highlight a bunch of points at once and then use this tool to affect all the points at once. The Hide Edge tool allows us to hide the line between two points. So all you have to do is just click on a line to hide it. And you can just keep doing that to hide as many as you want. Now if you click again, you can bring it back. 